Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. New tonight at 11, the cosmetic procedure that put a woman in the hospital for days. What well, she wants other women to know in a News for New York exclusive. Good evening, Sue's off tonight. A New Jersey woman says she is scarred from her trip to the salon for a little summertime hair removal, both physically and emotionally scarred. Tom Yamas is here with a story you'll see only right here. Tom. That's right, Chuck. Because of cases just like this one, New Jersey almost banned Brazilian bikini waxes. The procedure involves full removal of hair from the groin area. The woman you're about to hear from says she paid $45 for a Brazilian wax, but it's ended up costing her tens of thousands of dollars in medical bills and medication. For many women, the key to looking good by the pool or the beach starts with a smooth bikini line. That's the way 31-year-old Anna Alvarez started her summer. The tan never came, but the burning did. Too much pain, I think I'm dying. I can't stand up. That's what Alvarez thought when she ended up in the hospital just days after her Brazilian wax. She developed a skin infection that spread from her groin to her hip. As these photos show, her skin swelled up, flaked, then blistered. I can't have love with my husband like one month. I can take care of my daughter. Alvarez, who now has problems walking, had to have surgery because of the bacterial infection. She had the Brazilian wax done at the Toque Final Salon in Newark. The owner of the salon did not want to comment on camera because of the pending lawsuit. He says what happened to Miss Alvarez is an unfortunate incident, but she was warned against the Brazilian wax because she had some blemishes in the groin area. That's not true. Why would they tell me that? Why would they, they, they make up that Because if up? they tell me that, I'm not doing Alvarez says the salon is at fault because the cosmetologist used the same spatula more than once. The important thing in waxing is that the facility doesn't do double dipping. That is, they should make sure that they get their own pot of wax and obviously their own stick, and that it hasn't been used on another client. That's how bacteria spreads. Doctors say cosmetologists should use a different spatula for each swipe of the skin. If they believed that it wasn't safe to do, they should not have done it. Alvarez's attorney, Robert Solomon, is suing the salon, claiming negligence and pain and suffering because Anna is left with permanent disabilities. This is not a situation that's solely about money. This is about educating the entire female population about the dangers that are associated with Brazilian bikini waxing. The suit was filed in Essex County Superior Court. They will ask for hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages. When the state of New Jersey debated banning Brazilian waxing, the state's consumer affairs director said he couldn't agree with prohibition because the procedure can be safely performed. Chuck? All right, Tom, thank you. Now, Tom's story started with a tip, and if you have a story idea to share, call us at 1-800-1866-CORRECTION, NEWS-244, or go to NBCNewYork.com.